Hello everyone, Codon Bites here, and uh, welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Sacred Gold Let's Play. So, last episode we were uh, thrashing Team Rocket, so we're going to continue with that. Thanks, but I was already awake, buddy. And we'll just take out this Machop ourselves, because why not? Oh, no. Although, actually, I think Machop learns that as a level up move. I was going to say it's cool that uh, Dreano gave. Um, was giving trainers Pokemon some uh, TM moves, but. We'll let Mary uh, pinch this uh, Graveler to death. Ouch. <gasps> okay, well, there goes Mary. Hmm. Well, let's try out our own Stone Edge. We're gonna kick that Machoke and give him a knee right to the groin there. Yeah, I don't think I can take out a Sand Slash in one hit, so it's probably going to EQ me, but I'll go for the high jump kick. Oh, I guess it's not going to EQ me. I guess it's going to Slash me, which makes sense, you know, because it is a Sand Slash after all. Okay, time to heal. And we are back. This guy's probably part of Team Rocket. Yeah. Most of the scientists tend to be bad guys. <gasps> wow! That that is the epic that is the most epic fail. Physical move on Kadabra. Don't do that, kitties. Let's see if Mary can't get some more action this time. Oh, I guess that Kadabra only had... ...had a psychic coverage. Don't do that either, kitties! We're gonna pinch this, uh, Magneton... ...to death. And it's gonna fall. But yeah, I guess Future Sight is still normal in this generation. Oh, you got a Knight, uh... Bronzong too. Bronzong has some really great defense. But it's nothing for a Dragon Dance boosted, Adaptability boosted, uh, Crab Hammer coming off of Crawdon's awesome attack stat. And we're going to uh, decapitate this um, Kadabra with our Night Slash. And there we go. Hmm, you know, I kind of agree. I tend to agree with you, buddy. Hmm. I'll go into band. We'll blaze kick that thing. After first using my favorite attack. Alright. Cool. So, he goes down. Oh, okay. I need a card key. What, I can't... I, what, I can't have, like, um... I can't have, like, one of my Pokemon just kick it in? I'm sure, uh, Bands... High jump kick could just uh, knock it right in, couldn't it? Oh, exchanging some hazards, I see. Oh, you're gonna flatter me? Too bad, buddy, not happening today. 
So I guess... I guess that means I'm safe to switch in and I won't get poisoned by the toxic spikes. Ha ha ha! I might... Well, no, I won't get poisoned by that either. Alright, so I'm gonna try out Stone Edge, because it's a non-contact move and I don't want to get poisoned by his, uh... I have to admit, that animation looks cool. I mean, it's a bunch of... It's basically taking a bunch of stones and, uh, stabbing it from below with them. That is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll go with, uh... Hmm. I don't want to get static. Then again, I don't want to miss. I'll do the blaze kick. It probably has aftermath anyway. Yeah. And aftermath damage wasn't what I was worried about. I was worried about static, but I think that, uh... I think that Drayon... I'm, I'm stupid, okay? Okay? Because I have safeguard up, so I can't get static, even if it did have static. I, so I guess what I'm uh, wondering is whether Drayano replaced soundproof or static with... Um, with aftermath, because uh, the, coding, the coding for the game only supports Pokemon having two abilities in this gen, so... Yeah. Alright, Mr. Scientist. Let's see your awesome Ice Punch Alakazam with physical moves. You're running a uh, Choice Band Kadabra? Oh, cool, alright. Oh, I need to replace its Lumberry. Speaking of, uh... I'll go into Gina. Let her get some action. Since I got Safeguard up, I can't get paralyzed by that, which is great. And we're gonna just bullet punch this thing in the face. Because Gina likes to pack heat. Alright, I think I outspeed that thing, so we're gonna bite that executor! And we're gonna take that guy's money. Oh, I probably should have gone with the Moo Moo Milk on blocked, but whatever. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I don't think Meowth is going to help you. Maybe if it were a Persian it could help, but I don't, I'm not so sure that Meowth could, so... Yeah, okay. Whatever. Cool story, bro. We're gonna lead off with rocks, cause pro. We're gonna predict this sucker, sucker punch, and uh, wow, you sure got an awesome partner there. Okay, I'm feeling like a scissor sweep this time around. Yeah, yeah, why don't you use an, a full HP wish? You, you can do that. So because this Glammy is absolutely zero threat to me whatsoever, I think I'm going to go all the way up to plus six. And, uh, Safeguard's still up. That's really the only thing that this Glammy could possibly do to me. Although I don't know if, I don't think it, like, learns Sing or anything. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it will set up to plus six, and, uh, yeah, that's why you, uh, it's generally a good idea to, uh, when your opponent starts setting up, to immediately switch to a really threatening Pokémon that can make them, uh, stop doing that. And the plus six bullet punch even takes out a Nidoqueen, who is normally bulky enough to deal with it nicely. And this will definitely be a one-hit KO after Stealth Rock. Oh, 
Oh, I care about Pokemon. Let's see, uh. Huh. Heal up that double slap damage because, you know, it was, uh. It was quite bad. Yes. And here's the director. Uh. Sorry about that, uh, awkward pause there, guys. I just had my, uh, Windows Movie Maker just dinged at me. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rendering episode 17 right now as I play this, so, yeah. Yes, we're here to save you, Director. It's not like you're... Oh, hi, Petro. Alright, cool. Sounds good. Cool story, bro. Well, Mr. Petrol, I'm just gonna burn you in my engine. And we're gonna set up Stealth Rock because Pro will eradicate Mrs. His Hustle Flame Wheel. And we're just gonna go ahead and set up Safeguard as he misses another Flame Wheel. And this gives us a safe switch into Band. Who eats that Flame Wheel for breakfast because he's Band and he's overpowered. Ouch, that hurts. I hope this thing don't have quick attack, but I should be able to at least take out a few of his guys even at only 21 HP. And then we go for the high jump kick, and we're gonna step right on that Raticate and uh, break its neck just like it were in a mouse trap. And hopefully, Blaze Kick will be a one hit KO after Stealth Rock. Okay. And Tangrowth may be able to live, but that's alright. I've got a million other pokes to take it out after it, uh, yeah. Oh no, I guess it can. Yeah. What was I thinking? Thinking Tangrowth could live a plus two blaze kick. I mean, it is bulky, but not that bulky. Of course it's one hit KO'd after Stealth Rock. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's probably going to be a KO, but who cares, whatever. So, let's see. Uh, let's just yawn this thing, because it's annoying. And then we're just going to hit it with a Lava Plume. Ah, uh, yawn was completely unnecessary. Hopefully we can get the... Oh, right, yeah, I got the Lumberry on... on Emo. Ah, oh, Cross Miss. Sucks, buddy. Hex sucks. I really wish I had Earth Power on this thing, but I don't, so yeah. So now, I am going to uh, predict a Protect from him and use that opportunity to go into Mary, who has the brick break. But he predicts my switch into something else, and now that that thing is asleep, I can just go for the dragon dance. And what was I thinking, going, wanting to go for the brick break when I can just crab hammer it? Especially since it's part poison, and therefore brick break is neutral, not super effective. And even if it were super effective, crab hammer is still stronger if it's neutral. Because that's just how that's just how crab hammer is when it's boosted by adaptability. It's that beastly. Ah, the underground warehouse. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Sounds good to me, buddy. All right. So I just set another video to rendering and healed. And oh, uh, when I healed, I forgot to heal the power points. Some of my moves. Let's see. I think I know that lava plume was running out. 
Uh, I think Crab Hammer is getting low. And I believe Blaze Kick was also getting low. I know I could just go to the Pokemon Center, but come on, that's like boring. Do I look like a boring kind of guy? No, I look like a fun kind of Lepa guy. Because Lepa is fun to say. Lepa, Lepa! If you want to read about something funny, Google Fun Bro. Because that's just how fun of a guy I am. Fun Bro, it's a... It's a moveset that was actually banned by Smogun for competitive play, because you could actually make the battle last forever. It involves, let's see, you have a slow bro that holds a, um, Lepa Berry, then it has Slack Off, and it has the move Recycle so that it can, uh, keep reusing the Lepa Berry. And then, let's see, it has, a Block, yeah, you know, to trap the opponent and get out of the way. And then, then the, the real evil part is that you have Heal Pulse, so that when your opponent uh, starts struggling to death, you can just keep healing them to make them do it over and over again. Which is kind of funny. Stealth Rock still has 10 left. Oh, I fart boy, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, so now I get to fight you. So, glad that I'm leading with my designated lead. A good old Stealth Rock lead. Oh, too bad he led with Honchcrow. The whole in before rocks. Not cool, buddy. And of course I predict his protect and go for the safeguard. I forgot to put Lumberries on Emo and Blocked, but you know, it's not going to matter because I'm just going to set up a Crawdont Sweep here. And Drill Peck, not going to work on that. Uh... Oh, of course, Insomnia made it any effective. Whatever. Oh, cool, Electabuzz. I've always liked Electabuzz. Oh wait, I think the, I think Dreano gave this thing Vital Spirit as well. Guess not that one. Oh, wow. See? It's those special defense EVs I put in there that are doing that. Cool. So... Given that it's an electric type, I think we'll go with a blaze again sweep so that I might have a small chance of surviving a uh, thunderbolt. Should it, should I get greedy and it wakes up, or should I uh, happen to miss one of my attacks or something? And we'll just high jump kick. Uh oh, wait, I think that thing has static. Well, I guess I got lucky that time. Gotta love a good old blaze again sweep. I guess he didn't get a Magic Guard Alakazam, which I believe is uh, Drano made available in this hack. Pretty sure it is. Magic Guard would have made it not take any damage from the Stealth Rocks. Not that that would have made a difference here. I mean, getting Blaze kicked by Blaziken. And for Alligator, maybe a Water type, and I may be a Fire type, but that doesn't matter when it's a Blaziken who's used Swords, swords Dance with High Jump Kick to the face. This will be a one-hit KO after Stealth Rock, I think. Hmm. And Magmar gets hurt particularly badly by Stealth Rock. I like that he has both Electabuzz and Magmar on the same team. Wait, dude! Where's Jinx? You, you forgot about Jinx. You can't have Electabuzz and Magmar without Jinx, right? <laughs> uh, I'd say that those three are kind of a trio that goes together, but Jinx didn't get an evolution. Uh, 
Alright, so we need to heal. Uh, let's see, uh, I really should be cutting this out, but I'm not for some reason, so... Oh, I guess I just have to revive Emu. Oh, right, yeah, because I used Memento, so... And I, and I think Yawn was getting kind of low on power points, so we'll go ahead and use a Lepaberry on that. I feel like I used a lot of blaze kicks in that battle. Eh, I've still got a few left. I still have over, uh, still have, uh, over 13 high jump kicks, so... Blaziken's good as far as power points go. A little safeguard in case this thing goes for, uh... Hypnosis. I seem to recall that it can do that. Go into Gina. I think she can rock smash this version. Yeah, whatever. Oh, this is a special... Well, I should have realized that as soon as it had power gem, but yeah. Uh, forgotten version gets nasty plot, okay. Cool. And yeah, lumberries need to be given to... Blocked... I meant give. There we go. Okay, so we'll take this guy out on a nice day. Well, you don't have like. Ooh, scary! I wish... Uh, I need to get rid of Fly and uh, put Reflect back on that thing. Of course, that'd be kind of inconvenient. Then I wouldn't be able to, uh, to fly places, but you know what? Whatever. I bet you wish you were a Skill Link Cloister now, don't you, huh? Okay. Oh, Venomoth. It's gonna get badly hurt by those stealth rocks. And Mary is just a beast! Gonna chop that, uh, Haunter's right in half, right at his jaw. It's gonna hurt. Mmm, need some fresh waters. I do like that at least the rocket guys are using, for the most part, uh, not completely unevolved Pokemon. So, let's see what this item is. Full heal. Very useful. When I have like a hundred, uh, Lumberries, but whatever. Now well, this thing has Fire Blast, but I think I can get off my rocks. Oh, it's a physical Magmar. Whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. That was good. So we're gonna get our rocks up, and uh, just in case, it also has Flamethrower on. Speak of the Devil. Maybe I'll be able to get off my light screen, which is cool. I'll just go for the safeguard, or just let it get KO'd, just so that I can get a safe switch into Mary, and then I can set up a... You know, I am going to Band, because that thing has Flame Body, I don't want to get burned. And from behind the life light screen and the safeguard, there's really nothing that this Magmar can do to me, so I think I'm actually going to go up to, like, plus six attack, just to, uh... Overkill the guy's pokes by a whole lot. Wow, nice fire, fire, fire coverage. Having three different damage dealing fire type moves on the same set. That's pro, buddy. That's pro. Don't do that, kids. There are general there are exceptions, but generally you shouldn't have 
multiple damage dealing moves of the same type on one poke. Like, I'm pretty sure Magmar gets some fighting type moves. It could replace Fire Punch with, like, a Brick Break or Cross Chop or something. I think it even learns Cross Chop leveling up. I think it also gets, uh... I'm, and I think it gets, like, Grass Knot or something. Point is, uh... Sure, there are some pokes with really limited move pool, but pick one Fire type move, roll with, roll with that, and uh, you're good to go. And then use find some other moves to have. Well, that's useful if you want to have a if you want to try to flee from like a wild Golbat with freaking with something really slow like Mag Cargo or something. <laughs> I remember b way back in uh, Red and Blue version, I I used to whenever I played through, I'd always catch a Pikachu in Viridian Forest. I just I just had to have a Pikachu, okay? Like, it was absolutely mandatory. And I'd always teach it Thundershock, Thunderbolt, Thunder, and Thunder Wave. I mean, I had to have Thunderbolt as, like, my main stab attack. What? No Flare Blitz? And we're just going to light screen so that I can use this Growlithe as setup fodder. <laughs> it's just funny, because, like, of all the types to do that monotype coverage with, Electric has got to be one of the worst ones, because it suffers from an immunity. Like, very occasionally you'll see, uh good Pokemon uh, movesets that involve monotype coverage, but they are almost always with a type that at least isn't, um... You know, that at least doesn't suffer from a type chart immunity. Usually a type like a water, but even preferably something that doesn't have any abilities that grant an immunity to, immunity to it. Something like ice or rock. But really, there's no reason to, to do that other than uh, some weird sets. Especially not if you're going to have multiple attacking moves. And yeah, see that's one of the great things about uh, Blaziken as a physical sweeper is that it's a fire type so it's immune to burn because uh, you know, an unlucky flame body like that could completely end a sweep. Like, that was his last Pokemon, but had it not been, Mary would have been kind of crippled against any... against the rest of his pokes. Yeah, whatever. What doors? Oh wait, yeah, there's, there's weird doors or something. I think we'll do a Dragon Dance, uh... Good old Crawdon Sweep. Ouch. What is with Marion getting critted? And we'll see how Skarmory likes a good old... likes being pinched to death. Does Skarmory even get any good... special attacks to abuse with Metal Sound? And we're just gonna pinch this, uh, Pilo Swine. Give it a pinch to grow an inch. Yeah, happy birthday, Pilo Swine. Although a crab hammer pinch is more like uh, enough of a pinch to grow a uh, couple meters. Okay. And I think crab hammer was getting kind of low. Nah, nah. Still have three left. Don't need to waste the lepa berries. All right, let's see. Okay, let's try the blue one then. Oh, 
Uh huh, okay, I gotcha. Okay, yeah, you do that, buddy. You do that, girl. God, I forgot to look at how many pokes she had, so I don't know whether I need to set up a stealth rock or not. I hate acupressure because it's, uh... There's always a chance it could get an evasion boost, which always sucks. Go for a scissor sweep. Yeah, see, like that. Now... Now there's a chance I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be missing. I have like a 40% chance of missing. Wow, drill pack from Doduo. Threatening. Wow, acupressure and agility. Yeah, see, like that. Yeah, I'm just glad this thing doesn't have any threatening attacks. Definitely a one-hit KO after Stealth Rock. I think Mary deserve—I mean, Gina deserves some fresh water, don't you, Gina? All right, let's check this guy out here. Oh no, that. Well, let me just check the power points of all my Pokemon's moves. Alright guys, so I just uh, used some Lepa Berries to, on um, Mary's Crab Hammer and Emo's uh, Ancient Power. Because they were getting a bit low. And I think I am going to end the episode here. Just after I grab this item. It is getting past 30 minutes. So yeah, stay tuned uh, for next episode where we will be uh, taking out Team Rocket heads and uh, yeah, basically just uh, finish giving a good old thrashing to Team Rocket because they deserve one. Peace out, guys. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe and stuff. And have a good one.